a Muslim in the chat he said Christian Prince is a internet scholar my friend you cannot refute what I show in the screen the Muslims they are very much embarrassed with Mimi hijab quoting scholars proving the Quran to be wrong so they try to make a drama about a Christian Prince the drama is about how stupid your prophet is and how much duct tape your Muslims needed to duct tape his stupidity in the Quran. When your brother, he spent day and night, he spent a lot of time in this video to make this video. To the point his hair grow, his hair is shaved, his hair is gray, grow. I mean, did you notice what happened with this guy? This guy, he spent century preparing for this video. One time his hair is zero. One time his hair is long. <laughs> and this is what you come with, you idiot? You bring me reference saying the opposite of what you claim? Proving the enemy of Islam to be right that yes, the Quran says it's a dead blood? When he mentioned to us Ibn al -Jawzi, don't he knew that Ibn al Jawzi he say clearly that the word notfa means semen? Don't he knew? So if this is after studying the case and the video is to refute the errors, if <laughs> If this is how we refute the error <laughs> by quoting the scholars agree with the enemies of Allah. <laughs> One day I will lose my breath laughing at this garbage religion. And actually, I didn't enjoy really being in YouTube. I didn't enjoy even having people here because most of them, they are fake. But I enjoy spanking the devil, Allah and his prophet with no mercy. My five fingerprint is all over the ass of Muhammad because of the help of Mimi Hijab and Lili Dawa. And be my witness, I am not the one who is giving them the spank. It is by their help. Because if I go and quote Ibn al Jawzi myself, the Muslim, they say to me, how come you did not quote the other scholars? This guy, he made the video specifically to refute. And he chose chosen scholars agree supposedly with him. But the second we opened the books, we found they don't agree with him. They agree with the enemies of Islam. This is remind me of the donkey the ketchup boy, you know, do you remember the video of uh, the $5,000 to bring me the real Quran? Let me find it. Hold on. So just for a laugh, for comedy. A Christian brother from Pakistan, <coughs> from Pakistan, sorry. <coughs> uh. <laughs> he offered five thousand dollars if you can show me the original quran brother i mean who can do that let us, let us be honest i mean you offer five thousand dollars to prove the quran. are you crazy the muslims have the proof the stupid earth man the ketchup boy, he went to our brother and he have a book in his hand. And he came to him with the book. And he said, listen, I got the book. <laughs> Give me the money. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Everybody knows when you came to up our booth. That there is no Allah. They have a sign that says there is no Allah. So 
uh, up in LA, Santa Monica, Hollywood, going down to Mexico, to Tijuana, and our da'wah was growing, alhamdulillah. And even yesterday, alhamdulillah, in San Diego, we had two people accept Islam. I agree, yeah. In Mexico, we had four people in LA. In Taiwan, too. But some of these cowards, the little mice that want to you know, run around and say as if we're scared to be at Balboa Park, this is my park. I put it on the map. <laughs> so alhamdulillah, we're here. He put it Whenever in the map. Whenever we're in San Diego, alhamdulillah, I'm going to come out to Balboa Park. I'm going to be giving da'wah here. Sometimes I'm going to go to different locations in San Diego because our da'wah is growing. Sometimes we're going to go all over the world. We're not Let us go to the book. Where is the book story? Here we go. These cowards, you don't see anybody accepting their religion. <coughs> you just see them trying to trick people into saying things and trying to make clips and baits, putting my picture in their thumbnails when I'm not even there. But I'm here, and we brought the books. You see? We brought the Musaf Uthman, an entire scan. So these guys, we brought it. They're still not here. We're waiting for them. We brought... Remember, the challenge is if you can bring the original Quran, and now he brought the original Quran, and he is waiting for this Christian to show up in the park so he can get him busted. Oh boy! So what happened next? Need to ask the answer. So make sure if you don't know that, if you don't want to come here, make sure you tell your Dawa team to answer the answer the question, not tell them to don't talk to us. Uh, the cover, because we've been sitting every time I come, I. Bring before even we come there, you already have your the team who gonna record and everything. He got his team and they come to this Christian, you know, tent, and now they wanna get him busted because they have the original Quran. And look what happened. If it's not for view, <coughs> money, or you know, for so why you have that one? Every time when you do, do you have a recording because you know what? You wanna make money and you wanna split out the Go to the topic. Go to the lie topic. Lie of the Islam. Go to the topic. You don't want me to set up, but you look at that. You already have set up. See, Let's go to the topic. Where is the topic? Coward. Coward. Look at this huh? coward. Yeah. Five. Look at. Five thousand dollars to the Mustafa of Uthman. All right. Here yeah. is. Look at. Look at his yeah, yeah, desperation yeah. for views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here oh, is the yeah, Mustafa of yeah. Uthman. Oh, we, we, I have that one. I do. You, have you don't have this, right? One. I do. You, have you don't have this. One. I do. You, have you don't have this. One. I do. You, have you don't have this. Sheikh Uthman, you said I don't have that. Look at the surprise. See, you liar, big liar. This is the box. Here we go. And this is the one which you have been showing it. And that's a volume two. Guys, the disaster is not this. He brought a book which is supposed to prove that this is the original Quran. But this book inside it says there is no way that this book is the original Quran of Uthman. <laughs> the book itself. I mean, do you see why Mimi Hijab looks stupid and all of them look stupid? He brought a book. The challenge is who have the original book of Uthman. He brought a book in his hand, and the book which he brought, he brought, it says that there is no way that this book is written or have to do anything with the Uthman. <laughs> and this is what happened to him in Hijab today. <laughs> he, <laughs> he asked us to, Josie, so ask for honey. We go there, we see both of them, they agree with us against him. The donkey, the ketchup boy there, he came with the book in his hand. You know, the, the Quran speak about the Muhammadan. The Quran speak about Muhammadan who carry the Torah, the same as donkey carry it. Where is... Oops, I'm typing in English. Can you believe it? I switch the language still going to English. <laughs> Chapter 62, verse number 5, speaking perfectly about the Muhammadan. The example of those who they are interested with the Torah and did not take it on its like that, that of the donkey who carry the volume of the book. Those are the Muslims. Mimi Hijab, he have list of books behind him. The question is, did he read the book he is quoting for us? 
The answer no. Because if he did read the book, then he should knew that the book agree with us, not with him. The same uh, this is stupid guy, Sheikh Uthman, when he come and he is so excited when I get this Christian brother busted. Did he read the book in his hand? No. Because if he read the book, he will see that the book is saying that this is no way that this is the book of Uthman. I mean, you stupid, the book itself says that. And you bring the book itself to prove that this is the book of Uthman. And he made a drama. He won the $5,000. Give me the $5,000. I got you busted. No, you you don't care about truth of course because I we'll post our video and the truth <laughs> no, will be out there. The no, 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 we're not going to cut can, anything. Okay. We're not going to no, cut anything. Yeah, the whole thing will be on there. I'm He's just worried it. about recording. No, I'm not now, the Musa Fathman, where is his 5,000? I'm going to bring me 5,000. want to run. That's why I'm not running. I'm going to bring me 5,000. want to run. That's why I'm not running. I'm going to bring me 5,000. want to run. That's why I'm not running. Sheikh is running. Sheikh is running. Sheikh is running. Sheikh is running, Sheikh is running. Look at this guy. They are acting like a Sheikh. Is... Oh, wow, Sheikh is running. <laughs> okay. I'm here. So just wait. Just, just because, wait look, I ambush. told you I was going to be okay. traveling, no, and you guys you put lie. my okay. picture okay. in thumbnails that I wasn't okay. even okay. in. Okay, You're point. despicable. You're here. You're here now. now, you <laughs> tell me, you You're tell here. me, You're where here. is the 5,000 for the most of Osman that I brought you? I will give you 5, Let's see it. Let's see it. You heard him say that, right? He will give 5,000. Let's see him lie now. Just worried about views. Yes, you're right. Just wants to get popular. <laughs> We're gonna post the whole video. Post it's it. It's not about the truth. Yeah. <laughs> you want a mic? Man is here. I told him to wait, and he doesn't want to wait. No, we don't go by his schedule. See what I, oh. No, no, so we I go by. Your schedule. Yeah. Oh, Otherwise, no. don't talk to us. Oh, no problem. No, no, no. Okay. no, 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 no. Right no. Now. I do not want to you talk to you right now. You see this? Let me Running. Set up my boot. Running. Okay. Running. I no, I got, I got things to do. He's saying, let me go and get the book and show you. You know, he said, you don't have the book. He said to him, let me show you. I have the book. <laughs> now we don't want him to go. However, the important is the book he have in his hand. Remember, this guy, he spent two months looking for reference, how he can prove the Quran to be exist. And then he got a book in his hand. And the book in his hand, it says, there's no way that this is the book of Osman. <laughs> Look, 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 you, this is not the, listen, okay, or the most, don't, that. don't touch it, okay. don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, you're nudges. He called him Najis. You see the filthy racist? <laughs> he called him filthy. First that you said Don't you touch it. The Musa Fasman okay, the that. entire okay. scan. All right, let okay. me. Let me okay. What do you want to show? No, I'm going to show you that. Uh -huh. Let me set up the booth. No, 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 no. Oh, not going to not gonna set up here. Guys, look at Sheikh. He doesn't want me to set up the booth because once I have a booth, then I have a notes, then I have a camera. That's why he's scared about it. But anyway, we're not going to leave him alone. He claimed to be uh, claiming that Quran has been preserved, never been changed. There is no contradictions. But we're not going to leave him alone until he will leave the Islam. Anyway, let us escape the drama and see what it says there at the end. <clears throat> I don't know if in the same video he shows. Uh, this is the Quran. And receive $5,000. Well. That's very tempting as $5,000 is a lot of money. You can go to Saudi Arabia. Uh, you can go to Mecca, kiss the black stone so that your sins forgiven. You can go to Medina and then say hi to your dead prophet. You can do lots of things with $5,000. Of course, when the business of certain Muslim missionaries kind of affected by this financial crisis, um, who used to involve with ketchup, dealing um, or footnote inserting decides to meet with the challenge so that they can get the let us move to the, to the cheese
just like a what is it then? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. What is this then? This is we'll find it. What is it? Let me set up my camera. You're scared. Let me set up. You don't know what is. You're a liar. Musaf attributed to Uthman ibn Affan. You stupid. It says in the cover, this book attributed to 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 Uthman ibn Affan, but he did not read anything behind the cover. <laughs> And then behind the cover, it says there is no way that this book is the book of Uthman. <laughs> Mushaf Uthman ibn Affan. Look at this. Did he met with challenge or he just judged the book by its cover? Here's the copy of the books I've got in my hands as well. So that's number one. That's number two. It's two volumes. As you can see, title states Al Musaf Al Sharif, attribute to Uthman bin Afran, the copy of Al Masad Al Husseini in Cairo. So, Cairo manuscripts of the Quran, which is attribute to Uthman bin Afran. When you buy books, ideally you want to read them, uh, which I did, and I am, I am heart crushed <laughs> because I'm just assuming Mr. <laughs> Muslim hasn't read it. So, when you read the book, you will see a couple of important things uh, which should kind of help you to not make such a claims that this is the Quran of Uthman. Please keep in your mind around 652, Quran is being compiled under the Uthman and Uthman was killed by Muslims in a mosque, according to the Islamic tradition, around 656. So, Brother Anthony from Bible or Quran is challenging Muslims to bring Quranic manuscripts from 652. When you turn page, I'll turn it in front of you so you, you all know what I'm talking about it. Okay, this is the book. When you turn page 124, this is what you are going to read. We can guess that it belongs approximately to the end of the 2nd century Hijra or 8th century and the beginning of 3rd century Hijra or 9th century. So, according to Muslims, Cairo manuscripts are belong to 8th century or 9th century. Uthman died in 7th century, 656. <laughs> he compiled the Quran around 652. Of course, that was only page 124. Uh, bring your attention to page 122 here, so that like no one kind of thinks I'm reading from something else. It is all here. Page 122 and 123 reads our examination of the musaf of cairo showed that this was not one of the musaf of caliph uthman <laughs> let me understand that sometimes you don't understand you know that i'm in those one of those moments our examination of the musaf showed that it was not it was not one of the musaf of caliph uthman challenge was put bring first quran uthmani quran from the Quraysh manuscript 652 yet the book which was brought to the park in the intention okay i met with your challenge that book in itself in page 122 tells us this is not the musaf of uthman. page 123 last sentence it is obvious that is not possible to say that cairo musaf was one of the Musafs attributed to the Caliph Uthman. It's, it's, it's obvious. <laughs> and this is Mimi Hijab. He's asking us to read Ibn Jawzi. Why you don't open Ibn Jawzi? Why you don't open Al Asfahani? <clears throat> Asfahani, brother. This is a scholar in Arabic. He's he, he have even Arabic dictionary. Open Al Asfahani. We go to Al Asfahani, chapter one, verse number, uh, page number five seven nine. It says clearly, Al Alaqu wa huwa damu al Jamid. The Alaq is the dead blood. Well, alaqa is what the baby is made from. I cannot believe how filthy lying this religion is. How they have zero ethic.
But I say, thanks to the Lord, they are satanic, yes. They are demonic, yes. But they get themselves busted, too. And he assumed, you know, this video is there for how long? Actually, today, it wasn't my purpose to play it, but when I saw the video of this guy, I said, let me use Mimi Hijab because he is quoting all many errors in the Quran and he's trying to refute them. So if I refute some of what he said, that will be enough to prove Islam to be stupid. Otherwise, it was not really my intention to watch the video of uh, Mimi Hijab. I find it boring, st stupid. This guy keeps scratching himself. Very annoying when he talks and he acts, you know, like he suddenly he's so excited. Suddenly he's so cold. You know, it's like a it's like a movie actor. But I could not believe when I was listening that this idiot is asking us to go and find the scholars who he claim they agree with him. And I find it very funny that he admitted that if the Quran is saying that the baby is made from blood and from semen, that will be a clear mistake. But both the scholars he himself he chosen Al Asfahani and Ibn al Jawzi, and we showed you the reference. Both of them they agree that semen is semen. The word nutfa is a semen. Both of them they agree that he is an idiot. When somebody tried to make it or fix it, And then he don't even do his homework. Why he mentioned those two names? I will tell you why. Because somebody else told him he is a donkey. He never opened those books. He never even know where they are located. For if he if he ever opened the book, he will see what I see, and then he will never choose this book to to use it. There's no way he saw this book. He read the book. And yet he is saying what he is saying. This is a statement from somebody who did not ever read the book. Not for suddenly does not mean anything except water. But even the Quran, when you speak about water, that means semen. Uh, Let us see. Let me open Skype to see if there is any Muhammad. I want to try his muscles with me. and explain why Muhammad Hijab, he made this scandal exposing his prophet. Do you think that Muhammad Hijab is working for us? <clears throat> Asking us to read books which is agreeing that Islam is stupid? Did he or he is doing that in purpose? Behind the scene he is an anti-Muhammad? My Skype is open. If you are a Muslim, text me, please. I see nothing but Christians. If you are underage, never text me. I will not answer you. Somebody texts me saying I'm a Christian. I'm 16 years old. Sorry, my friend. I will not contact you. You can post in the chat if you want. I don't speak to, to minors in private. I don't speak to Christians anyway. Uh, you want to call me, you can call me live on air when I say Christian can call and you have to be adult, no 16 years old. Uh, I have a question, did Muhammad forbid eat pork? Don't send me questions here in the stupid sky, you know, silly questions, Muhammad eat pork. Uh, let us see. Until now I see nobody really. No Muslims, only texts from funny Christians trying to disturb my work. <clears throat> this guy he say he's a Muslim that is saying give him a call
we are calling this Muslim, let us hope he is there. <clears throat> Doesn't look like it, so we skip him. Don't send me text in Skype, say to me, God bless you. You are not helping, you are disturbing. <clears throat> All right, look like we are, um, there's nobody in Skype. If you are a Mohammedan and you like to join us, please feel free, just text me in Skype. And tell me, what do you think about this disaster, Muhammad Hijab, he just did. He just asked us to read scholars which agree with us. He was trying to defend the Quran, but he himself, he chosen Muslim scholars who they agree with the enemies of Islam. He claimed that those view are the views of the phobia people. You will find those claim in anti-Islamic website. And he asked us to read what scholars they say. And he chose names for us. Understanding the hadith of date and poison. Let us see what this one saying. Sound interesting. I like medical. It's, uh, all over the anti-Islamic uh, apologetics type websites. Notice only anti-Islamic website, they have their question. Muslim, they have no questions because who dare to ask questions? They will chop his head. <laughs> anti-Islamic website. Okay, tell us, uh, Mimi Hijab. And it's in their publications and their videos online, <coughs> which is a hadith which says that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Man tasabbaha bisab'a tamarat ajwa la yadurruhu summun wala sihra that whoever wakes up and consumes seven dates of ajwa kind, that poison will not afflict him, and sihr, which is magic, will not afflict him. And they say this is an unscientific type of hadith, because they say, how could it be the case when the chemical agents or properties within the, uh, within the dates, there's nothing within them that would indicate to us from a scientific perspective that they could be um, uh, immunizing to things uh, as, as, as chemically destructive as uh, poison. So why, how can you understand this hadith and this, doesn't this hadith fly in the face of 21st century scientific discovery? Now first, in order to answer this question, let's take a look at what some of the commentators of this hadith of all time have mentioned. Mm -hmm. So for example, Al-Khattabi, who is Al a scholar of the 4th century, died 388 AH. He says actually it's not because of a specific property within the date. Oh. He says this, there's nothing within the date that actually has that immunizing capacity it says Lali Hosia Fitamar it's not because of a specific characteristic or attribute in the day where well, Innama is because of the dawah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the the blessings of the dawah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and many of the scholars have uh, have looked at this hadith in this kind of way Ibn Qayyim said no it's for a, spe a special time and a special place and it's not applicable to us uh, Al-Qurtubi said it can only be seen to be applicable to us if it goes through the experimental method and succeeds in the sense that we can actually prove that the dates are in fact in line, uh, immunizing to poison. And this shows us that the, the, the commentators of hadith had a very sober approach to science and hadith and science and Quran. They understood that sometimes these are two separate areas of uh, jurisdiction if you like and sometimes they have an overlap now before we continue with this hadith the opinion of al-khattabi which says it's not a specific property in the date seems to be well represented if we look at other hadith because there's another hadith which the prophet muhammad وسلم, he told us in the what you call the evening supplications of al-athkar al-masa uh, which we should all be making by the way athkar al-sabah al masa beautiful supplications we should be making in the morning and the evening that will, will cause protection for us and so on. One of these words of protection is uh, is بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق that I seek refuge with the perfect words of God from the evil from which he created. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said about this, he said whoever says this لم يضره شيء he said that whoever says this nothing will afflict him 
or no harm will afflict him. Now, wait a minute. If the date hadith was intended to be an immunization, a physical or chemical immunization, then how comes we find similar or even more generic, even more generic types of terminology used in other hadith? If you think about this, this cannot mean it's a physical thing because this is a supplication which doesn't necessitate any consumption of anything physical at all. So this hadith of the dates, from that perspective, it follows that it wouldn't be because of the properties of the date, but it's because of the ibadah or the worship of doing it. Can you believe it? <laughs> People, can you believe it? This is because they worship. If, if this is because they worship, okay, we will go with you. So if you worship, you will not die by poison. He's trying now to fix it. <laughs> and if this is because they worship, what does this have to do with the ajwa then? If this is by blessing of Allah, what does this have to do with the ajwa? And not only that, just to show you how those Abduls are very poor in knowledge. And they are just a bunch of kids trying to duct tape the stupidity of their prophet. He said that this is have nothing to do with the date itself. It's about the supplication to Allah. You pray to Allah. The hadith never mentioned supplication. The hadith mentioned ajwa. And not only that, he mentioned which ajwa. Let us go and see the hadith. Mimi hijab, I will make your butt red for the Kenyan century today. Now your duty, guys, uh, is to copy uh, uh, the video, and when you download it, please uh, cut it pieces, piece by piece, based on the topic, one by one. Don't make it so long. <clears throat> Here, read carefully, this is the hadith. He who has a morning meal, so there is a morning, and it's a meal. Where is the blessing? Nothing will hurt him, neither poison, neither magic. What does this have to do with blessing? If you are blessed, the Muslim, they pray early in the morning, so you do not need ajwa. So what the ajwa present? The blessing of Allah? As you see, Nothing here about supplication or prayer. And not only that, Muhammad, he mentioned how many ajwa you have to eat. If you eat six, it will not work. If you eat five, it's not going to work. If you eat seven, that will protect you from magic, not only poison. There's a hadith I'm trying to find where Muhammad, he mentioned that this is from a specific uh, uh, date. Let me see if I can find it. I could not find it in this website. Let us see. Because he mentioned that if you eat from the, the date of, uh, of uh, the city of Medina, uh, where we can find this hadith? Hold on. Because I remember it very well. And now the Muslims, they are. Uh, I cannot find in this website. But anyway, uh, what kind of excuse that this is a blessing from Allah? Same time, I will go with Mimi Hijab. He mentioned 
it's not have nothing to do with the structures of the date so it's not the date is going to make the ajwa special what is going to make the ajwa special is the blessing of allah i want to hear that again so we can love more which one it was let us see the ajwa the ajwa Ajwa, 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 Ajwa. Here we go. 5422. It is number 22 in the video. Today, inshallah, we're going to be talking about a hadith which is uh, all over the anti Islamic uh, apologetics type websites and is in their publications and their videos online. Which is a hadith which says that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Man tasabbaha bi sab'a tamarat ajwa la yadurruhu. Uh, whoever wakes up and consumes seven <laughs> dates of ajwa kind that poison will not afflict him and sihr which is magic will not afflict him and they say this is an unscientific type of hadith because they say how could it be the case when the chemical agents or properties within the uh, within the dates there's nothing within them that would indicate to us from a scientific perspective that they could be um, uh, immunizing to things uh, as, as as chemically destructive as uh, poison. So why, how can you understand this hadith? And this, doesn't this hadith fly in the face of 21st century scientific discovery? Now first, in order to answer this question, let's take a look at what some of the commentators of this hadith of all time have mentioned. So for example, Al-Khattabi, who is a scholar of the 4th century, died three... Remember, when he mentioned something, he just mentioned a name, but he don't tell you the name of the book. He don't mention the page. So if we go, we will see what he's talking about. And I'm assuming that if I go and look for this guy, uh, but I don't remember this guy Al-Khattabi is making something, but he is saying Al-Khattabi says that. Okay, where we can find Al-Khattabi? And who is this guy Al-Khattabi? So now he is supporting himself by clear evidence. Al-Khattabi said, who is Al-Khattabi? Shouldn't you tell people who is Al-Khattabi? Let us say you are a person of knowledge. And now a person, you, you are claiming that those people, they are not doing their homework. They are not doing academic study. Is that how academic study is done? You say Al-Khattabi and that's it? Who is Al-Khattabi? What the name of the book? Which page? Which volume? And what he said, show us on the screen. Same time, why you want to take what he say? What is his authority? And now look what you did. What you just did is very embarrassing. It is not the date will protect you. What is going to protect you? Listen carefully. 388AH. He says, <coughs> actually, it's not because of a specific property within the dates. He says this, there's nothing within the date that actually has that immunizing capacity. He says, Lali Hasiya Fitamr. It's not because of a specific characteristic or attribute in the day hmm. where innama is because of the dawah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or the the blessings of the dawah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and many of the scholars have uh, have looked at this hadith in this kind of way ibn qayyim said no it's for a, spe a special time and a special place and it's not applicable to us ah special time special place it doesn't work with us okay special time that is the time of muhammad but if we go, we will find that Muhammad was poisoned and he died by poison and he was bewitched. <laughs> Listen carefully, brother. Ibn al-Qayyim, he said, that work only for a specific time and a specific place. Ajwa have to do with a specific time and a specific place. <laughs> but the person who come with the advice himself, he was bewitched by magic, according to Muhammadan, to the point he is illusional, he don't know what he is doing, including his sex was fake. And he himself, he died literally by poison. 
So Ibn al-Qayyim, he said, it is only for a certain time, certain place. <clears throat> is Muhammad included in the place on that and the time? If there is anyone in Islam is more blessed than Muhammad? Is he himself the one who has given you advice? He is not included in that advice? Do you see how stupid they are when they try to duct tape the stupidity of Muhammad? The one who is advising you to, to eat ajwa, he mentioned that there are seven. He did not mention that this is only for a certain time, certain place. So where you are getting this from? All of this is a solution for the stupidity. They notice the names of those who they are mentioning to you. Those are not really early scholars. Those are later scholars. Who they are trying to defend Islam in front of the Christians. So now, Muhammad, he said something proven to be false. How we are going to fight it back? We say, it was a blessing. Only at that time, only in that place, only at that location. But even that will not help them because it was the bad luck of Muhammad that he had both. He died by poison like a rat and he was bewitched by black magic. So if that is about a blessing as Mimi Hijab, he said, obviously Muhammad is not blessed. Do we agree people? If this is a blessing, if this is the supplication of Muhammad, Muhammad making supplication supposedly, but nowhere in the hadith he is making supplication. He said, whoever you see, the hadith says, whoever, not some, he did not even say a Muslim or a Christian. Let me find you the hadith and put it in the front of you on the screen. Whoever. <laughs> I mean, the stupidity is beyond the stupidity. <clears throat> Did he say Muslims? Did he say Christians? Did he say the blessed one? Did he say uh, gender? No. He says, he who eat, he who, whatever he is, he who eats, not he who I pray for. He who eat seven ajwa, date every morning. What does this have to do with location and specific people and specific time? He who eats, it doesn't matter who is he. He who has a morning meal of seven ajwa, he. Do you see anywhere it says the prophet, he prayed to Allah and says, like, let them not to happen to them. The Prophet said, if somebody, somebody, anybody, take some ajwa, date every morning, he will not be afflicted by poison or magic. Do you see how the Muhammadan desperately trying to defend the duct tape Prophet? Walmart is out of duct tape because of Islam. If somebody takes seven ajwa, if somebody, not even a believer, suddenly it's about supplication, it's about a blessing from Allah, it's only certain times, certain people, blah, 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 blah. What the heck is that? When I was with the Prophet, come to visit me, and putting his hand between my nipples. <laughs> I hope, I hope uh, uh, my, my dad will forgive me for not accepting to go to medical school. You know, he wanted me to be a doctor. I said, no, I don't want to do what the prophet, what he, what he did to you. He put his hands between your nipples. Oh, okay. And I felt 
its coolness on my heart. He said, you are suffering from a heart disease. Look what the heck. Muhammad, he put his hand between the nipples. I mean, is the heart in the middle of the chest? That's deep. So he put his hand between my nipples and I felt the coolness. And he said to me, you are suffering from heart disease. Go to Al Harith, uh, Bil Kalada, who belong to Taif. He is a practicing medicine and get him to take seven Ajwa. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I have to mute the microphone. I could not breathe. Oh boy. So the guy, he have heart problem. We give him seven ajwa. And how the prophet, he discovered that the guy, he have a heart problem. <laughs> And then, brother, and brought them together with their stones and administer administer them to you. <laughs> it, it's, it's okay, brother. This was for that time. Now it doesn't work for heart problems. Uh huh. So at that time, if somebody have a heart problem, and how the prophet he discovered that the guy have a heart problem, he put his hand between his nipples. Hmm. I hope doctors will not do that to women when you go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Here there's a different story. But this is not really what we want now. Let us see. Yeah, this is uh, we are out of the Ajwa stories. <laughs> and the poor Mimi Hijab, brothers and sisters. Yes, a scholar they say this is not about the date. The date is not really does not have any. But yes, we have to agree. The date is not really uh, scientifically. This is not accurate. So obviously the prophet never meant that. The prophet he was talking about something totally else. Totally else, brother. It was about specific time, specific location, and blessing. And then we find that Muhammad himself he died because of a poison. And Muhammad himself he cannot even differentiate between real sex and fake sex to the point he imagined himself having sexual intercourse with his wives, but in fact he did not do it. As you see in Sahih al Bukhari. Aisha, she said, look, uh, look at the title of this chapter, brother. Mm. The manner of Adab. Mm. The prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wife. In fact, he did not. But remember, this is the effect of the ajwa is because of the blessing. So are you saying to me, Mimi Hijab, that your prophet have no blessing? This is why the seven Ajwa did not work with him. It worked only with those who have a blessing. Is that why he died because of poison? Is that because he have no blessing? Uh, I don't want to forget your prophet. He says, I feel now that the poison I ate is getting my order, which is mentioned in the Quran that if Muhammad fabricated in Quran, Allah will cut his artery. Oh boy, <clears throat> Muslims, who of you will dare to download my video, put it in your channel, give it to you, Mimi Hijab, 
and let us see what he would do and ask him for the sake of the shin of Allah. Are you stupid or what? Are you trying to fix it now? So the Prophet, he mentions seven ajwa because it is a, there is a blessing and this is what will protect you. And then Muhammad, he died by poison and he was infected by magic. True story. Let us see something else. If there's anything <clears throat> interesting for you guys? Uh, did the prophet say the earth sit in the in the in the back of a whale? Today, inshallah, <laughs> we're going to be talking about one of the most specious claims that has come out of this science narrative, science error narrative, which is this claim that there's a hadith of the prophet, which supposedly says that the earth is on the back of a whale and the whale is on the back of a. Is balancing on some kind of a rock or something to this effect, and this hadith is fabricated. I mean, I don't want. To... Do you see how we solve the problem? <clears throat> this hadith is fabricated. Mimi hijab for the sake of the shin of Allah. I mean, Zakir Naik he spit a lot. Don't do that. Listen, listen. As long as it's fabricated, why it is in your book? People, listen carefully. As long the hadith is a fabricated hadith, why the Muslims, they wrote it in their books? Any Muslim can tell me? <clears throat> and if it is, fabricated how we can trust anything the Muslim they wrote about their prophet you know guys what I'm saying how how you Muslims put it in your books. As an example, <clears throat> there's many scholars they mention this and they did not say it's fabricated. So later when the Muhammadan they, they start noticing, you know, like remember even like scholars which are famous for Muslim like Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir is wrong after Muhammad. So now the world is different. The people they knew there's the European, they discover a lot of things, and the Muslims, they are very much, you know, in touch with what's happening in the world. The Muslim, they occupy Spain, etc. They went all the way to the heart of Europe, and now they learned that there's a lot of garbage in our books. So now, from that era, not now, they start defending Islam by saying, we don't accept those things no more. But if we go in the Quran, <clears throat> we will find that the earliest Islamic scholars, the early we go, the earlier we go, uh, the more we find that those stories are accepted. How come the Muslims did not notice that this is false? Hmm? Any Muhammad want to help us? If we go right now to uh, the Tafsir, <clears throat> again, those who will download the video, please cut it pieces, make topic by topic. Like, you know, based on what Mimi Hijab, he chose a topic. Cut it, put it together, refuting him, move to the second topic. Make a video by video. All of you, please. You know, we have uh, 100 something, I don't know, 100,000 here, subscriber. We have 100 something thousand there. Only a few, two, three people, they are the one doing video. The rest are just useless. Even my admins don't make videos. They just come here for tea and coffee, most of them. 
They want to practice authority of blocking people, but they never did any work. Uh, so if we go in the Quran, we will find this chapter. <clears throat> chapter 68, verse number 1. Remember, those who say this is in the top of the wheel, they are lying. This is a fabricated hadith. Shall we go and read the interpretation made by Muslims? So we can see if it's fabricated or not. Chapter 68, verse number 1. Let us go. This is Ibn Kathir, and this is their website, this is their translation. Not me. Let us see. If they are going to say it's fabricated, let us see if they agree with some, they refuse some. Whatever they say, we will show it in the screen. All right. <clears throat> this is Ibn Kathir, you know, and this is their translation, as you see in the front of you. Uh, all right. Uh-oh, it's gone. It doesn't show that in English. They took it off. What the heck? <coughs> What's happening here? What? I don't see anything about the wheel. Where is the wheel? Anyone see the wheel? Anyone see half wheel? Quarter wheel? I see no wheel. The wheel is gone. Something fishy. Let us go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Let me type first, maybe. Maybe the whale is here. I did not see it. <clears throat> no whale. They took it off from the English, from the Arabic. Hilarious, hilarious, brother. Hilarious, hilarious. All right. Let us see. It is open in Arabic. In the English, they took it off. Totally took it off. Literally took it off. <clears throat> Very decent people. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Ta -da -da, ta Guys, this is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. I will give you the Muslim website in the front of you. Copy paste. You can open it in Google Translation yourself. And you tell me why we cannot find what it says in Arabic in the English website. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> guys there's a there's a dog far away is barking uh is, is, the, is the sound coming to you should i close my window the, uh, are you annoyed by a, a sound of a donk uh, dog let me know please if the if the sound is coming to you annoying <clears throat> so this is the arabic uh, page of ibn kathir let us see in Arabic and how he used the difference between the Arabic and the English. I did not see it in English. So let us see. It says here, وَقِيلُ الْمُرَادَ بِقَوْلِهِ نُونٌ حُوتٌ عَظِيمٌ عَلَى تَيَّارِ الْمَاءِ الْعَظِيمِ الْمُحِيطِ وَهُوَ حَامِلُ الْأَرْضَيْنِ السَّبَعِ كَمَا قَالَ الْإِمَامُ أَبُو جَعْفَرُ بْنُ جَرِيرٌ let us translate. <laughs> Remember, this is the Eve Hadith. 
This is Ibn Kathir. This is their website. Ibn Kathir, as you see, Ibn Kathir, value number eight, page number 184. Page 184. The interpretation, and it was said, what was meant by this saying, his saying, which means the Quran, noon, that are noon, is a great whale on the ocean, great stream of water. And it, bear, it bears the seven earth. As Imam Abu Jafar Ibn Jurair, he said, and Ibn Bashar, it turned to me that those guys are a scam. <laughs> and they call him Imam. Mimi Hijab, he said, it's a fabricated hadith. Imam Abu Jafar, he say it is not. Ibn Bashar, he says it is not fabricated. Mimi Hijab with his long hair, he said it is fabricated. Which one you will believe? I mean, let us be honest here. Mimi Hijab, especially when he act and he jump behind the screen. And Ibn Abbas, oof, 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 we are getting now deep. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad, and he is the one who Muhammad only prayed to Allah to make him able to explain the Quran. He named him actually as the ink of the nation of Islam, Ibn Abbas. Look what Ibn Abbas said. Things is getting complicated. Ibn Abbas said, First thing God created was the pen. Makes sense. Allah is very educated. He have educated the prophet. He is illiterate, yes. But still he can use the pen to draw a donkey. He said, write. He said, what I should write, Allah? He said, write down the fate. So it happened before the day, from the day until the day of the hour. Then he created noon. <sighs> Man, that's things is getting exciting. What the heck is this noon? Guys, is the, is the text coming clear to you? You can see it? Is, is the text clear? See, people, you are not inviting people. We have only, we don't even have a thousand people watching. You guys are not inviting, you are just useless. Potatoes, shame on you. May Allah, may Allah curse you all. Look what happened to me. Allah curse me. I don't even have a mirror at home. I don't dare to see myself. I cook scary. Allah curse me, man. I know there's a guy actually. He made fun of the miswak, so he put a miswak in his anus. Guess what Allah did to him, brother? He made him deliver a baby after seven months. Yes, brother. Yes, he's a man. He put the miswak in his anus, making fun of Allah. Seven months after, he gave a baby. Guess what? The baby looked like a rat. He have ears of a pig. He have a face of a rabbit. He have a tail of a rat. Unbelievable. True story. So aren't you afraid that Allah will do that to you too? Invite your friends so they can watch the science of Allah. So the first thing Allah created, he created the pen. He said, what I should write. He said to him, write whatever you mean, the fate of people. And then he says, create the noon. Okay. Then and raised the water vobar. Aha. Uh -huh. So the sky opened from it. <sighs> That's deep. And the earth was spread out on the back of the noon. Noon is the whale. Remember that. Okay. Just go back. The noon is the whale. So now the, 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 the earth is in the top and the back of the noon. So noon stirred up and the earth swayed. And it was fixed to the mountains. Now I know why the earth is not moving in the top of the whale. We have the mountains. <laughs> For they are proud in the earth. Okay, hold on, okay. The mountains are proud. This is why they are high. Why they are high? Because they are so proud. <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. So, Mimi, and look, we cannot find a single word in the English translation. Can you believe it? They took it all off. There's no whale. 
there's no earth, there's no pen, there's nothing. It's gone. Mysteriously. What happened? So when you learn about Islam from Islamic books in English, I assure you, you got nothing true. And the proof is in the front of your eyes. This is the same book supposedly they are translating. So why it's not there? I will tell you the solution. The translator, he said to himself, this is a piece of you know, bullshit. Excuse me. I'm not going to put this in my book. People will laugh at me. People will not even buy my book. People will laugh at Islam and Allah. Actually, I might even get hurt by Muslims for translating it. So I'm going to take off anything will make Islam look stupid. Hmm. With suspense music, you want more suspense more than a whale in the top of it, the earth. What's wrong with you? Sarah, did you, did you eat Ajwa today? And you are blessed by Allah, so you are giving me funny request. Okay, what, what, the, so what? That's amazing. And then you see, uh, when when noon moved, when noon he moved, the earth disturbed, start moving. So Allah put the mountains in the top of it, so the mountains will fix the earth. And this is all proven to be scientifically true. Okay? I mean, there's a lot of evidence of those things. And unless you are like an idiot, you do not want to see the truth and you are want to be blind. Hello? <laughs> okay? So, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and like, if you continue reading, at Tabarani, page number 185, it says, we are showing you all their garbage. <laughs> Narrated that with the chain of transmission, transmission sound like a car for me. Ah, chain transmission. Islam is so scientific and mechanic religion. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is the true Islam, brother. Nobody can make books like transmission. Do you have a transmission in your Bible? Do you? You don't. Do you have a chain? No. And you are asking me why I converted to Islam? How we can make any truck, train, anything work without a chain and transmission? Hmm. Crazy Christians. So here, narrated with the chain of transmission, which means it's very accurate, that he said, Abu Habib, Zayd ibn al-Muhtadi, blah, 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 okay? From, 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 from the authority, from, from, from the authority. Look, look, all of them, they have authority. You know, and maybe hijab have authority too. But obviously his authority is overcome, their authority. From, 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 from the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said that the messenger of Allah, may Allah pray for him and, you know, whatever, he said, the first thing Allah created was the pen and the whale, which makes sense. I mean, the whale is long, the pen is long, especially though this is the pen of Allah. The pen of Allah is so long. Imagine how big the hand of Allah. I mean, just think about it. So he said to the pen, write. He said, what I should write? He said, everything will be until the day of resurrection. Then he read noon and the pen and write and write that. Okay. So here he write he wrote that and then what happened after that brother? The translation here is actually not coming accurate. It says after he wrote that uh, he created the noon, you know he created the noon. Translation is not coming right. And he put the earth in the top of noon. He pressure the earth in the top of noon. I don't know why translation is not showing right. You see in Arabic here. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Uh, here it says. Yeah, he pressured the earth, sorry. 
he pressure the earth after he created the whale he pressure he press pressed the earth in the top of it which makes sense yeah i mean you know yeah all right we did not skip that uh what else what else hmm. it turned to be that all of those stories are fabrication and actually here there's a hadith the same about if a man if the woman her she have orgasm first the baby will be a girl if the man have orgasm the baby will be a, a boy actually this is in the hadith too which is uh, sahih and now Mimi Hijab he will say to you this is fabricated hadith fabricated hadith you know how the prophet he knew this look at this brother and sisters I was really worried to get married because I don't want my son to look like me but now I feel more secure and safe all what I need to do I will never come first and this is Sahih is Mimi Hijab is going to say to you this is fabricated look at this science look the messenger of Allah said the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow which of them comes first the child will resemble the parents I remember Mimi Hijab he said this is about water not about semen <laughs> if you don't look good don't ever comes first your kids will hate you hold yourself you idiot marry a beautiful woman and each time you decide to have a baby never comes first stupid let your wife come first so the baby will look good why we don't listen to the advice of a prophet of Allah and his science which is proven all the way to be scientifically correct how many scientific scientists uh, uh, you know study made based on this discovery you know a lot actually I believe that Joe Biden when his father having orgasm I think what happened the reason for the defect that both of them did not have orgasm. It was electric shot. You know, like and this guy, he's born, he don't remember his name, he doesn't know what he's to go. You know, he, he left the Korean president in the stage, he wanna go downstairs, he don't know where is the exit. He for, I mean, obviously, the, the, we knew now what's happening. Be careful, who comes first will decide how the baby look like. Look at you. Look at you, all of you, how you look like. Yeah, look, 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 look. Yeah. Yeah, women, they start putting makeup. Yeah, yeah. Look, look without... Okay, <laughs> hello. And don't use those Photoshop in uh, the Chinese uh, or Korean uh, phones. All of you, you look so uh, pretty and something, you know? You know the thing. Hello. All of this happened to you because your mother and your father did not follow the steps and the advice of a prophet Muhammad because they were ignorant but now you have no excuse Gog and Magog saying to me you are talking about sex again look like Gog and Magog he forgot I'm quoting his stupid prophet so if you're trying to say I am talking about sex you forgot that I'm quoting your stupid prophet I mean can you believe how stupid the Muhammadan he's trying to put me down Christian Prince talking about sex again. You stupid. It's your Mimi Hijab talking about how the baby is made, how the embryo, the semen, the sperm, blah, 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 blah. And you are telling me, you Christian Prince is talking about sex again. Okay, this is the Christian Prince. Why Christian Prince, he talk about sex again? It must be something wrong with the Christian Prince. He keep talking. And you know what? He caught my prophet. How come when I caught Jesus, I don't talk about sex again? When I caught your prophet, I have to go back to sex. Oh, hold on. Listen, I get upset from you. I'm going to listen to your prophet advice and use his sentence. So you will not be offended. 
go and bite the penis of your father. Would you? Oh, what uh, offensive, disgusting. Your prophet says that. Am I talking about sex again? Look how sensitive the Muhammadan are. They chop your head, they stone you, they cut your hand, they cut your tongue, they burn you alive, they burn churches, they take over your country, they put you into slavery, but they are very sensitive. Please don't talk about sex. But the women go to the Prophet holding her vagina with her hand, asking the Prophet if she should wash her vagina. You know what? The Prophet, he have an open vagina clinic for free. But if a Muslim come for advice, you have to pay as the Quran said. If a woman, she have a question about vagina, the Prophet, his door is open. Bring her. What happened to your vagina? Tell me. Mm. You saw a wet dream. Can you tell me the details? Shall we go back to Mimi Hijab? Or enough, guys, today? Is it enough? Maybe we should continue some other time. Because his video is priceless. I don't know why I did not play his video a long time ago. Okay. I think we should continue some, like maybe next time with more stuff. Look, this guy, he lists for me a lot of topic. Unbelievable. Look, a lot of work, brother. Does the arsenal reproduction undermine the Quran? That's deep. That's something. Okay, does the Quran get the definition of cattle wrong? No way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, does the Quran get the embryo, bone, and flesh formation wrong? Absolutely not. Uh, does the Quran say the sky solid sub object? Oh no. No way. Understanding the height of the date, we cover this one. Did the prophet say the earth set in the back of a whale? No, he did not say that. You Muslim says that, right? Huh? <laughs> Understanding the hadith referring to camel urine and medicine? We cannot miss this one. What? Understanding. Look, 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 look. Underst you see you see how beautiful the way they present Islam understanding understanding the hadith referring to the camel urine as medicine you know the Muhammadan they claim that they are following the teaching of the God of Moses how right away they say to you well we forbid eating pork but you eat camel and you drink their piss the camel is forbidden in the Torah. So not only you eat the camel, you decided to use it as a Pepsi Cola. After eating the camel, you take a hop from the penis. Actually, if I go right now and search on YouTube, you will see Muslim drinking, literally, hot, fresh pee of the camel holding his penis, forcing him to pee in their cup, their beer cup. So how you are following the, the teaching of the God of Moses, but you eat camel and you drink the piss of the camel. Hmm. Sound complicated. So I think we will continue with this. Uh, maybe next time I go live, I will give you now time to cut this video, make it short. And remember, I'm not keeping my videos. As you see, I cleaned all my videos from my channel. So now I have only two videos have nothing to do with my uh, my video life. So if you care really to have them, download them, save them. Don't blame me. Because I noticed that in the same time that people always watch the last video. So if I make a video tomorrow, nobody will watch this video. They will stop watching it. I find it, I find that astonishing that all the work we do it's kind it make me feel it's a waste of time I stay with you for a couple of hours sometime five six seven sometime more yet people only what they care for and this is what I notice to join live chat they are not coming here to learn 
And this is why if I stop the chat right now, you will see how the number will drop. Many, they are coming just for entertainment. Many, they are coming for a comedy time because Islam is stupid. They just, you know, they want to kill time. And they say, okay, in this channel, we love at Muhammad. And uh, yeah, we are just killing the time. Those people are not welcome in my channel. I don't want fake numbers. I don't want to have 100,000. None of them is real person. He care for what we do. I prefer to have 40, 50, 60 subscriber who they are really hard working Christians, warriors. The Lord, he has a 12, not 12,000, not 12 millions. And Christianity spread around the earth, even though still there's many areas, Bible never reached them yet. 12 people not 12,000. This is the power of those who they are warriors for Christ. The rest who they are just numbers, they don't count. They don't count for the Lord. They don't count for His day, the day of judgment. This is why I insist always to say to you, the Bible say clearly, from their fruits, you shall know them from their fruits you shall know them and those who they are claiming to be christian and they have no fruit the lord don't know them and i don't know them too we do commit sin every day and i am not better than you I sin in my thought, I sin in my desire, I sin in my sometimes disappointed with the, the things around me. Sometimes I feel like God is, is not taking care of the poor. God is not taking care of the, uh, the one who defend him. God, but then I say, oh, I'm wrong. The Lord, he take care. But we have too much pain and then we have to release the pain by blaming him. But he is not the one really causing the pain. So, we pray that the true Christians will stand up and defend the faith, and they will become warriors for Christ. We confess our sin, not because we are proud of it, but because we are taking side with the truth that sin is against God. Islam is sin. Muhammad is satanic. And we have to confess that if we don't fight the satanic teaching, doesn't matter it's coming from who, we are guilty. The one who don't say no to the wrong, he is a partner with it. The one who don't fight against sin, he is a partner of it. Imagine you see a woman being raped and you keep going, you don't care. You are a rapist. If you see somebody molesting a child and you don't do something to save the child, you are the molester. If you see someone lying about Jesus, and you don't do anything about it. Exposing the liar, you are a liar too. For the one don't stand against evil is evil. And the one who don't fight evil, he is a partner of it. You can give yourself all kinds of excuses, but you cannot fool the Lord. From their fruits, you shall know them. Why we don't want to learn. Let your fruits shine in the front of the Lord. Let your fruits speak for you, not your tongue. Let your fruits witness for you, no one else. Your fruit, my friend, 
is your identity, not your name, not your church name, not your position as a priest or bishop or even a pope. It doesn't count. Your fruits. And time will come and they will be asking you, the Lord will ask you, where is your fruits? What you've been doing? I sent you in a mission and you did nothing. You have no roots. This is why your fruit is not there. You have no nothing. You are just a fake person, fraud. So I say, let us work for the Lord. Time goes past, and you will be questions about what you accomplish. I spend every day almost hours with you, not for my sake, for the sake of your children and for the sake of you, so you can have faith and nobody can deceive you and nobody can fool you. However, I cannot put faith in your heart. I cannot make you work for the Lord. It's a decision you do. So work for the Lord. Stand up for the truth. And the truth will set you free. Thank you all for being here. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. I hope you enjoy it. You learn something good. Download the video. Share it with your friends. Cut it pieces. Make it small topics. And let your children watch so Muhammadan cannot fool them in your schools. They are professional liars. And your kids taught nothing by your priest except wave your hand to Jesus. So when you go in the street, you or your son or your daughter or your wife, you do not know how to answer them because they did nothing to teach you. For they are fake, false priests. They speak about love, but they forgot that the first message of love is to fight against evil. For the one who don't love is the one who don't fight evil. And the one who love is the one who fight evil. So what they do in the church? Sit down, stand up, recite two verses for you from the Bible, and then we eat some cookies and we go home, like the Mohammedan. That is not a church where Christ was. That is not what Christ used to do, and never did. Preach it, fight for it, and even die for it, as all the disciples of the Lord and himself, he died for it. Those who seek life, they are dead forever. And those who seek death to earn life, they will live forever. And how you seek death? By simply don't care for death. You care for being truthful. Those who seek life by hypocrisy, by making money, by fighting for buildings and houses and cars, and they don't care what people say about Jesus. They don't care if the whole world become corrupt. They don't care if it's children's, they are changing their gender and they are not advising them. They don't care if every woman is sleeping around. They don't care if every man became a pimp. They don't care. Those people are fake Christians. If you don't care, you know you will end where? I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon, soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is a joke. And we loved a lot today. Thank you, Mimi Hijab.